So these right here are the Crevastar Serious Gaming Earbuds and their most prominent feature, well, it's pretty visible. Why having the looks is the only good thing will be discussed right after the intro. Gravistar is known for bringing a fresh, new, industrial look into the speaker game, mostly known for their Mars Pro design. Since the last time I checked them out, they were kind enough to send over the entry-level series earbuds for review, and even though they are their cheapest ones, they still come in at a retail price of roughly 90 euros, which compares with a lot of different earbuds I've tested over the last 6 months. I will compare them in feature and sound at the end of the Nothing Ear Ones as well as the One More Comfort Buds Mini. Now let's take a closer look at the design language and the case. But before, this is how they get shipped to you. Yeah, that's actually something that will look good when placed in your shelf. The case itself is fully zinc alloy, it's weighty, it feels sturdy and it will surely make people's heads poke around the corner to have another look at your butts when wearing them. It's a way more standout design than a lot of the butts that I've seen lately. The case itself is charged via USB-C and features a dedicated Bluetooth reset connection button at the bottom. So far, so same same. Opening the case, removing the butts is where actually the fun begins. Pressing in the only possible button at the side snaps the metal hinge open, it feels very satisfying and with a bit of resistance feels like a solid mechanism that will last for quite a while. Taking the butts out of the casing you definitely feel a sense of wonder. I expected them to be a lot heavier since the case gave me a false sense of weight. But they come in at only 5 grams per earbud which puts them in the front row when it comes to wearability due to weight issues. But while wearing them for a few hours I noticed something very odd and had to double check it on their website. Nope. Uh, Gravastar claims the Sears earbuds come with enough power to fuel a rocket with a continuous playtime of 4 hours. Mm, let's say it like it is, this isn't acceptable for 90 euro earbuds, especially not if there is no ANC involved. I'm fine with budget ANC buds having a limited playtime before recharging. The One More Comfort Buds Mini, which are in the same price category, are way smaller and 20% lighter. Also, they have 4 hours of playtime but with ANC turned on and 6 when it is disabled. This is what I expect from a sub 100 euro earbud in 2022. Oh, and uh, the Mini also have fast charging. 10 minutes gives you another 1.5 hours of playtime. The serious buds offer nothing. The only thing you get is a cyberpunk inspired look. No fast charging, no ANC and only 4 hours of playtime. At least the sound quality is good, right? Hmm. Sound quality is always a subjective thing, but comparing it with two other butts in the same price category, the series land in the middle of the pack, only slightly, slightly better than the One More Minis, with quite a gap to the Nothing Ear Ones. I normally like a flat sound, this makes it great for instrument separation and listening to the full spectrum of music, but these ones, especially comparing it with other butts, feel, well, capped at the top and the bottom end. It's not that it's missing the bass and highs. They are there, but the sound is muffled and it feels like listening to music on a festival while waiting for your children on the parking lot inside your own car. It is missing the punch as well as the clarity. This becomes especially obvious when popping in the Nothing Ear Ones directly after them, which feature this distinct punch that I'm actually looking for in sub 100 euro earbuds. It's the difference between the snare drum being just another instrument or the thing that actually drives the song forward. So overall these are fine, but if you want to buy these for sound quality there are better alternatives. A good thing though, the Sirius Buds are IPX5 waterproof, meaning they can be used in rain and won't get damaged by it. Most other buds in this category are only IPX4 rated. Weirdly enough, these buds which are marketed towards gamers which predominantly play indoors are better protected against water than lifestyle butts. 
Maybe I just forgot to count the mobile phone gamer crowd. Speaking of gaming, the last feature on this list is the dedicated game mode which reduces the latency when activated. There isn't much to say since I had no way in testing this feature, but other reviewers who did some tests found a reduction of around 25-50%, to 50%, so <laughs> that's actually quite a win for the serious buds. But to use the game mode you first need to activate it. And how do you do that? Well, with a triple tap on the sides. Well, it should be a triple tap on the side. More often it needs 5 taps to register 3. The first one is consistently ignored. The second one works 75% uh, of the taps. So, the touch functionality is somehow flawed. It's not unusable like in my Harman Kardon TWS review, but to say it with Master Yoda's words, Good touch controls? These are not. <laughs> wow, that was a bad impression. Conclusion. Well, the Crevice are serious, but considering they are priced at 90 to 100 euros, would not be a purchase I would make myself. Yeah, they look nice. And above all, and this is a huge plus, very distinct and appealing to a certain group of people, especially gamers, which the second best thing in these bots also caters to. The dedicated low latency game mode. Hm. If these are things you are looking for in your true wireless earbuds, then these are the buds for you. If you are looking for great sound quality, a long battery runtime, fast charging, basic ANC at last and even more features that became standard over the last year, then these buds aren't the one you are looking for. There are way better alternatives out there for less money. Maybe even Gravistar's own in-house buds, the Sirius Pro, could be a better alternative. But after this review I'm sure I won't be high on the list for being sent another review product in the near future. Thank you very much for watching, my name is Leech and I'm off writing the next scripts. If you enjoyed this video then make sure to subscribe to this channel, there are plenty more of this type of content and yeah of course many other things available for you to watch. Have a great day, see you around and goodbye.